Pusti moj te rezeši mi se slavu tvoji, ako aš će bi u svoti mjesec žerti, da li bi tu Bog se sa ženem bogovališe. Žetva Bogu dok se prušim, sve se prušim i smirano Bogu ne neće žeti vlađi, gospod, da bi nam te misli ona. Ide svednici i sirim stranici, je to da bogovališe žetva pravde, ne će neće se žajme. To da bo zložat na ultar tvoji telci, pomenom na Bože, poveli se njima za tvoji pomnoži, te za tvoji zakonjima i najtočani zakonjima od greha i očistnja. Jako bi zakonje moj azna i greh moj predvene svinje te da ih se griješi lukoj pre tebo i se otvori. Jako je pred njih se ostoji s podišnjim i se ti se ovi zakonje za štije se griješi radi mati moj. Se boji se njima zdrugi li ja se bezi ste tajne pred njih stav mjesi. Kropiš mi se pomječiš u svijem mješnjem peče snijeg i griješi se sluh moj mu dasti radi se veseli da zrit kao svinje grade i tvoj grijeh moj sebe zakonje moj očisti. Sve se čisto se zniži vam je Bože duh kao Zdravim i rado spasenje tvoje u tlačnoj tvrdinja. Na uču bezakonije putem tvoje mi nečastavi tebe, bratica. Izbaj me krovi, Bože, Bože, spasenje moj govodovic, jezik moj pravi, tvoj gospodin. Pusti me pred zrešim i slavu tvoju, ako ašću bi besvoti jesu žerti, da li bi tu bosti sa žene, ako govoliši. Žetva Bogu duša trušni, sve se trušni, smirno 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 Bogu duša trušni, sve se trušni, sm Stare nebeski utešitelju duše istine koji si udaj sve ispunja vaše ritice od obara i dava oči života. Dođi sada i useli se u nas i očisti nas od svake nečistote i spasi blagi duše naše. Slavno i svojom mi oskuži u volji. O jemni king, comforter, spirit, truth, where you are, blessed all things. Treasure of blessings, give our life, come and abide in us and cleanse us and live in the fear and save our souls. Who are God in high speed, speak. Heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who are ever present and fill us all things, treasure your blessings and giver of life, come and abide in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. O Lord, open up my lips and my mouth shall declare thy praise. Blago sloveno carstvo Otca i Sina i Svetoga Duha Sada i u vek i u vekove vekova. Miru, gospodu, se pomolimo. Gospodi, pomiru. Za višnji mir i spasenje duša naši, gospodu, se pomolimo. Gospodi, za mir svega sveta, za nepokolebljivost sveti, Boži crkava i sjedinjenje svih, Gospodu se pomolimo. Gospodi pomiru. 
za ovaj sveti hram i za one koji se verom pobožnošću i strahom Božim ulaze u njega. Gospodu se pomolimo. Gospodi pomiluj. Za preosveštenog episkopa našeg Irineja, za časno prezviterstvo u Hristu džakonstvo, za sav klire vjerni narod. Gospodu se pomolimo. Gospodi pomiluj. Za predsjednike ove države, za sve civile vlasti i vojsku, gospodu se pomolimo. Gospodi pomiluj. Za ovaj grad, za svaki grad, zemlju i onaj koji verom boreve u njima, gospodu se pomolimo. Gospodi pomiluj. Za blagorastvorenje vazduha, za izobilje plodova zemaljskih i vremena mirna, gospodu se pomolimo. Gospodi pomiluj. Za naše spasenje u ove dane pandemije, za zaštitu i izbavljenje od koronavirusa, za zdravlje i iscelenje onih koji boluju od njega i za rukovodjenje lekara i onih koji služe ugroženima, gospodu se pomolimo. Gospodi pomiluj. Za one koji plove, za putnike, bolesnike, pačenike i suženike i za njihovo spasenje, gospodu se pomolimo. Gospodi pomiluj. Nas izbavi od svake nevalje i gneva, opasnosti i te skobe, gospodu se pomolimo. Gospodi pomiluj. Zaštiti, spasi, pomiluj, sačuvaj nas Bože, blagodaću Tvojo. Gospodi pomiluj. Pominjući presvetu, prečistu, preblagoslovenu, slavnu, vladičicu našu, bogorodicu i prisno djevu, Mariju sa svima svetima. Sami sebe jedni druge i sav život svoj Hristu Bogu predajmo. Tebi je Gospodi. Jer tebi priliči svaka slava čast i poklonjenje Otcu i Sinu i Svetome Duhu, sada i u vek i u vekove vekova. on us and keep us, O oh God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious lady, Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and our life unto Christ our God. To thee, O the majesty, thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever in two ages of ages. Amen. Slava Osuisimu Isnatomu Domu Oh, 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 oh,
O God, by thy grace, Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Teotokos and ever Virgin May with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life unto Christ our God. God and lovest humankind and unto thee we ascribe glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. In thy kingdom remember us, O Lord, when thou comest into thy kingdom. Blessed are the poor in spirit. Blessed are those who mourn, for 
Apostles preaching and the Father's doctrines have established one faith for the church, adorned with the robe of truth, woven from heavenly theology, it defines and glorifies the great mystery of piety. Ye nine i prisno i vo viek i viekova min, prestates po Christiane postinoje, odatais po kotrorcu ne preložno je, ne prežli grešni moje, no prervari ako blaga ja na pomoć nas vjerno zovušiti. Uskori na molitvu i počis ja na umojenije. Prestate skojuš i prisno, Bogorodice čuši.
Spirit, the Procamenon Tone 6, save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. of the epistle of St. Paul to the Romans and the Hebrews. Brethren, we who are strong ought to bear the fallings with the weak and not to please ourselves. Let each of us please his neighbor for his good to edify him. For Christ did not please himself. But as it is written, the reproaches of those who reproached them fell on me. For whatever was written in former days was written for our instruction, that by steadfastness and by encouragement of the scriptures, we might have hope. May the God of steadfastness and encouragement with you live in such harmony with one another in accord with Christ Jesus that together you may be with one voice to glorify God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Welcome one another therefore as Christ has welcomed you for the glory of God. Brethren, Remember them unto which have the rule over you, who have spoken unto you the word of God, whose faith follow, considering the end of their conversion. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever, be not carried about with divers and strange doctrines, for it is a good thing that the heart be established with grace not with meats which have not profited them that have been occupied therein. We have an altar whereof they have no right to eat of which to serve the tabernacle. For the bodies of those beasts whose blood is brought into the sanctuary by the high priest for sin are burned without the camp. Wherefore Jesus also that he might sanctify the people with his own blood suffered without the gate. Let us go forth therefore unto him without the camp, bearing his reproach. For here have we no continuing city, but we seek one to come. By him therefore let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God continually. That is the fruit of our lips, giving thanks unto his name. But do good and communicate and forget not. For with such sacrifices, God is well pleased. Obey them that have the rule over you and submit yourselves. For they watch for your souls as they that must give account that they may do it with joy and not with grief, for that is unprofitable for you. Peace be on you, readers, wisdom, and with thy spirit.
let us attend, let us this holy gospel feast be unto all. The reading is from the holy gospel according to Saint Matthew. Jesus was passing on, two blind men fought him, crying out and saying, Have pity on us, son of David. And when he had reached the house, the blind men came to him. And Jesus said to them, Do you believe that I can do this to you? They answered him, Yes, Lord. And then he touched their eyes, saying, Let it be done to you according to your faith. And their eyes were opened. And Jesus strictly charged them, saying, See that no one knows of this. But they went out and spread his fame abroad throughout all that district. Now as they were going out, behold, there was brought to him a dumb man possessed by a devil. And when the devil had been cast out, the dumb man spoke. And the crowds marveled, saying, Never has the like of this been seen in Israel. But the Pharisee said, by the prince of devils, he casts out devils. And Jesus was going about all the towns and villages, preaching in their synagogues, and preaching the good news of the kingdom, and curing every kind of disease and infirmity in the people. Vreme ono podiže Isus oči svoje ka nebu i reče, Oče, došao je čas, proslavi sina svojega, da i sin tvoj proslavi tebe, kao što si mu dao vlast nad svakim telom, da svemu što si mu podario da život večni. A ovo je život večni, da poznaju tebe jedinoga istinitoga Boga i koga si proslavio Isusa Hrista. Ja tebe proslavi na zemlji, Svrši delo koje si mi dao da izvršim i sada proslavi ti mene, oče, slavom koja je u tebi i samom u koju sam imao u tebi pre nego svet postade. Javih ime tvoje ljudima koje si mi dao od sveta, tvoji beh upasi ih meni dao i reč tvoju održaše, sada razumeše da je sve što si mi dao od tebe, jer reči koje si dao meni predadoh njima, I oni ih primiše i poznaše zaista da od tebe iziđu i poverovaše da si me ti poslao. Ja se za njih molim, ne molim se za svet, nego za one koje si mi dao, jer su tvoji i sve je moje tvoje i tvoje moje i ja sam se proslavio u njima. I više nisam na svetu, a oni su na svetu, a ja idem ka tebi. Oče sveti sačuvaju ime tvoje one koje si mi dao, da budu jedno kao i mi. Dok bejah s njima na svetu, ja i čuvah u ime Tvoje. One koje si mi dao, ja sačuvah i niko od njih ne propade, osim sina propasti, da se ispuni pismo. A sad idem Tebi, ovo govorim na svetu, da se radost moja ispuni u njima. Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Aside from the regular Sunday reading from Matthew and Luke, in Matthew we heard the healing of the blind man and aside from the seventh Sunday of Pentecost, today our Holy Church celebrates two other feast days, the Holy Fathers of the first six ecumenical councils and also the synaxis of the holy archangel Gabriel. There is so much to say on each of these feast days and scripture readings, but for the purpose of today's sermon, let us but briefly reflect upon 
the holy archangel Gabriel and the bodiless powers of heaven in general. The world angel, the word angel, or angelos in Greek, means messenger. And this word expresses the very purpose and nature of angelic service. In the first verses of the book of Genesis, we find that in the beginning, God created heaven and earth. And some of the fathers of the church suggest that under the creation of heaven, we understand the creation of the invisible world. So angels were created in the very beginning, before the visible world was created. I'm sure he sees one of them now. And as Holy Apostle Paul puts it, all things were created by him and for him. By their nature, angels are bodiless spiritual beings endowed with reason, will, and knowledge. They serve God and fulfill His will. But when they appear to people, they do not appear as they are in their essence, but rather transformed, taking an appearance visible to human senses. The Holy Scripture de depicts angels as descending from heaven to earth and ascending from earth to heaven which gives us a reason to believe that they too, just like us, are limited by space. And in a way, they are just as we are. Another characteristic of angels is their immortality. As suggested in Luke 20, 36, they do not die. However, the immortality of angels is not divine, that is, it's not unconditional. It's not independent from God, but depends very much like the immortality of all of us. Depends fully and completely upon the will of God. There are nine different orders or degrees of angels known to us. They are the seraphim, cherubim, thrones, powers, dominions, principalities, virtues, angels, and archangels. Some fathers of the church suggest that there are many other orders and types and uh, degrees of angels, but they are not known to humankind. Also, we do not know their number, how many angels are out there. All the ranks of the heavenly powers are called angels, although each has its own name and position by virtue of their service. Through angels, the Lord reveals His will, and He reveals His will to the highest ranks of archangels, and they in turn inform the others. The holy archangel Gabriel, whom we commemorate today, along with all other bodiless powers of heaven, has been called the leader of the heavenly hosts, and he was chosen by God to announce numerous happenings in the scriptures. He appeared many times in the Old Testament. He appeared to prophet Moses. He appeared to prophet Daniel. He appeared to Saint Anna with the news that she would give birth to the Virgin Mary. He appeared to her, Virgin Mary, with, the greatest, with great news of the incarnation of the Son of God. And also the merbearing women heard from him the most joyous message of Christ's resurrection. In the course of the Divine Liturgy that we serve every Sunday, many times we mention the angelic powers and we say that they also serve with us. And during the time of this pandemic, when our numbers were limited to three or four or five people, the fact that angels surround God's holy altar gave us much strength and comfort, convincing us that we are not 
alone in this service to God. The angels are here to pray for us, to help us, to guard us from the evil one, and to guide us in the way of truth and life that is in Christ our God. By giving us holy angels, God gave us such powerful protectors and guardians. However, there is this widespread idea that when we die, we become angels. And I think it's just because we want to comfort ourselves when somebody dear to us passes, we say, heaven gained another angel. Yet, if we analyze the role and the purpose of angels and humans in God's plan for the salvation of humankind, we see that humankind is above the angelic kind. The humankind is created as the crown of God's creation. This is very much evident in the liturgical texts when we say that angels surround the heavenly throne, but they cannot come and touch God. Yet we, as humans, are blessed and enabled to have the most intimate relationship with God in the Eucharist. Not only do we come close to God, but we unite ourselves. We partake of Him and we become one with our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us be aware of this great honor given to humankind above the angelic kind and do not dishonor ourselves by forgetting this truth. Let us respect and venerate the holy angels and especially the archangels Gabriel and Michael who are the leaders of the heavenly hosts but at the same time do not forget our own role, our own privilege, and our own responsibility given to us as humans. By the powers, by the prayers of the most pure mother of God, birth giver of God, and by the intercessions of the honorable celestial powers of heaven, especially the radiant and lightning like Michael and Gabriel, and our holy guardian angels, or Lord Jesus Christ, keep us and save us now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us say with all our soul, with all our mind, let us say. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Almighty, the God of our fathers, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Mercy on us, O God, according to great goodness, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for his grace, our bishop, your name for priests, deacons, all our clergy, all our bread, name Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the president of our country, also authorities, armed forces. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for Orthodox Christ, loving, serving people with their salvation. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Once again, we pray for the blessing of the Holy Ark's patriarchs, for five kings, right believing queens, the blessing ever found in this holy house, for the departed servants of God, Donna, Louis, Simo, Sam, Helen, Yelena, Dorothy, and George, and for all our fathers and brethren, Orthodox departed this night before us, who here in all the world lie asleep in the Lord. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. And we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, visitation, for our remission of sins. The brothers and sisters of this holy house, especially the servants of God, Father Leonti, 
the servants of God, Vukits and Melissa, Carol, Rodden, and the children of God, the child Nicole, the child Maxim, the child Methodian, newborn child Malinka, and brothers and sisters of this holy house. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Eternal Lord, God Almighty, ineffable goodness and love for humankind, look upon us who have gathered in your holy name and those who could not be present. Be our constant helper and defender at the time of this pandemic and hear our prayer offered with contrition of heart. Compassion, Lord, save, protect, deliver us from pending threat of the coronavirus. Grant health and recover those suffering from this virus and guide the hands of physicians, preserve those who minister the afflicted. Let us say with all our heart and mind, Lord, have mercy. And we pray for those who bring offerings to good works in our house, for those who labor and those who sing. For all the people present, I thank you and rich mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. For the outer mercy of God love us mankind. We ascribe glory to the Father and to the Son, Holy Spirit, now and ever into ages of ages. Amen. Oglašeni pomolite se Gospodu. Verni, pomolimo se za oglašeni da im Gospod pomiluje. Gospodi, pomiluj. Da im nauči reči istine. Gospodi, pomiluj. Da im otkrije evanđelje pravde. Gospodi, pomiluj. Da im prisa jedini svojoj svetoj, sabornoj i apostolskoj crkvi. Gospodi, pomiluj. Spasi, pomiluj, zaštiti, sačuvaj Bože blagodaću Tvojo. Gospodi, pomiluj. Oglašeni glave svoje Gospodu priklonite. Iz nama slave prečasno, veličanstveno ime Tvoje Oca i Sina i Svetoga Duha, sada i u vek, i u vekove vekova. Amin. Vi koji ste oglašeni, iziđite oglašeni, iziđite nikad oglašeni, ne ostane, a vi koji ste verni, opet i opet u miru, Gospodu se pomolimo. Zaštiti, spasi, pomiluj, sačuvaj nas, Bože, blagodaću Tvojo. Gospodi, pomiluj. Premudrost, jer Tebi priliči svaka slava čast i poklonjenje Otcu i Sinu i Svetome Duhu, sada i uvek i uvekove vekova. Amin. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Wisdom, God, is my might, scribe glory to thee, to the Father, and to the Son, Holy Spirit, now and ever in two ages of ages.
Česti vi i Hristoljubivi rod hrišćanski, titore i priložnike ovoga svetoga hrama, udovice i siroča, da pomene Gospod Bogu carstvu svome, svakda, sada i uvek i uvek, ove vekova. Grace our bishop here in name, may the Lord God remember this kingdom at all times. Now and ever into ages of ages. Of svešteničky, svešteno monaški čini sav klir crkveni da pomene Gospod Bogu carstvu svome, svakda, sada i uvek i uvek, ove vekova. The president of our country, all civil authorities and armed forces, the Lord God remember this kingdom at all times. Now and ever into ages of ages. Our Christ-loving and suffering Serbian Orthodox people, especially those in Kosovo, Metohija, and Montenegro, and suffering Christians in Constantinople and throughout the world. May the Lord God remember His kingdom always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. All those who are suffering from the coronavirus and their families and the hands of physicians and nurses who care for them, especially the servants of God, Mitchell, Chanel, Timothy, Michael, Erin, Scott, Sharina, Kristen, Nevena, Dragan, Kristen, Buen, Darlene, Holly, Louise, Darlene, Charles, Marco, Jovan, Georgiana, George, Diane, Mia, Jennifer, Millicent, Robert, Brian, Robert, Maria, Dragana, Maria, Nicole, Nathan, Tina, Angelka, Mladen, Dana, and Michelle. May the Lord God remember His kingdom always, now and ever, and into ages of ages. Suffering servants of God, I command right lay on to you. Servant of God, Vukica, Carol, Melissa, Servant of God, Radan, and the children of God, Nicole, Max, and Methodi, and Milinka, may the Lord God remember His kingdom, always, now, and ever, and into ages of ages. The departed servants of God, Donna, Simo, Sam, Yelena, Helen, Dorothy, George, and the newly departed servant of God, Louise, May the Lord God remember His kingdom always, now and ever, and into ages of ages. You and all Orthodox Christians, may the Lord God remember His kingdom always, now and ever, and into ages of ages. our prayer unto the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the precious gifts now offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy house, for those who enter with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. 
For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. They may be perfect, holy, peace, one sinless. Let us ask the Lord. Grant it, O Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies. Let us ask the Lord. Grant it, O Lord. For our remission of our sins and transgressions. Let us ask the Lord. Grant it, O Lord. Good and prop for our souls and peace for the world. Let us ask the Lord. Grant it, o Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance. Let us ask the Lord. Grant it, o Lord. A Christian ending to our life painless, blameless, and peace when a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ. Let us ask the Lord. Grant it, O Lord. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious say Theotokos, never Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and our life unto Christ our God. Through the compassion, only God, Son, and blessed, together, most holy, good, and life creating spirit. Always, now, and ever, two ages of ages. Amen. Peace be unto all. And to your spirit. Let us love one another that with one mind we may confess. in wisdom let us attend. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not made, of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. And the third day he rose again according to the scriptures and ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of the Father. And he shall come again with glory to judge the living and the dead whose kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets. In one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church, I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Christ and love of God the Father and communion of the Holy Spirit shall be with all of you. Let us lift up our hearts. Let us give thanks unto the Lord. Yeah. 
God, ineffable, inconceivable, invisible, incomprehensible, ever existing and eternally the same. Thou and thy only begotten Son and thy Holy Spirit. Thou it was who brought us from non existence into being. And when we had fallen away, didst raise us up again, and didst not cease to do all things until thou dost brought us up to heaven, and has endowed us with a kingdom which is to come. For all these things we give thanks to thee and to thy only begotten Son and thy Holy Spirit, for all the things of which we know and of which we know not whether manifest or unseen, and we thank thee for this liturgy which thou hast deigned to set at our hands. Though there stand by thee thousands of archangels and hosts of angels and the cherubim and the seraphim, six winged many eyed who sorrow aloft borne on their pinions. Singing the triumphant hymn, shouting, proclaiming, and saying, say, Holy art thou and all holy, thy only, only begotten Son, and thy Holy Spirit. Holy art thou and all holy, and magnificent is thy glory, who has so loved thy world as to give thy only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life, who, when he had come and had fulfilled all the dispensation for us in the night in which he was given up, or rather he gave himself up for the life of the world, he took bread in his holy, pure, and blameless hands, and when he had blessed it and hallowed and broken it, he gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you, for the remission of sins. Amen. And likewise, after supper, he took the cup, saying, Drink of it, all of you, this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Remembering the saving commandment and all those things that have come to pass for us, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection of the third day, the ascension of heaven, sitting at the right hand and thy second and glorious coming. I know now thy own offer unto thee on behalf of all and for all. God, cleanse me a sinner, have mercy upon me, Bože, watches to me, Gresham, thy pomilu me, O God, cleanse me a sinner, have mercy upon me. Again, we offer unto thee this reasonable and bloodless worship, and we ask thee, and we pray thee, and we supplicate thee, send down thy Holy Spirit upon us, and upon these gifts here offered, and make this bread the precious body of thy Christ, and that which is in this cup the precious blood of thy Christ making the change by thy Holy Spirit. That they may be to those who partake for the purification of soul, for the remission of sins, for the communion of the Holy Spirit, for the fulfillment of the kingdom of heaven, for boldness there is thee, not for judgment or condemnation. Again, we offer unto thee this reasonable worship for the, those who have fallen asleep in the faith, ancestors, fathers, preachers, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and every righteous spirit made perfect in faith. This 
especially for our most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady Teotokos and ever Virgin Mary. Prepomeni, Gospode, preosveštenog episkopa našeg Irineja i daruj ga svetim Tvojim crkvama u miru, čitava časna, zdrava, dugovečna i da pravilno upravlja reči u istine Tvoje. Isnje, isnje. Remember, Lord, the city in which we dwell and every city and country and those who in faith dwell in them. Remember, O Lord, the travelers by land, by sea, and by air, the sick and suffering captives and their salvation. Remember, O Lord, those who bring offerings and do good in, the, in thy holy church, and those who remember the poor, and upon all send forth thy mercies. I daj nam da jednim ustima i jednim srcem slavimo i pevamo prečasno i veličanstveno ime Tvoje, Oca i Sina i Svetoga Duha, sada i uvijek i uvijek ove vekova. Hvala ti velikoga Boga i spasa našeg Isusa Hrista sa svima vama. Precious gifts offered and sanctified, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That our God who loves mankind, receiving them upon his holy heaven, the ideal order of sweet spiritual fragrance, will send down upon us and return his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peace, and sinless, let us ask the Lord. Grant it to Angel of peace, a faithful guide, and guard of our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. Pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask the Lord. It, o Lord. Things that are good and proper for our souls and peace of the world, let us ask the Lord. It, o Lord. That we may come the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask the Lord. Grant it, O Lord. A Christian ending to our life painless, blameless, and peace, when a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ, let us ask the Lord. Grant it, O Lord. Having asked in your faith, Spirit, let us commend ourselves and each other life to Christ our God. To thee, o Lord. And make us worthy, O Master, with boldness and not condemnation. We dare to have in God, Father, and to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thine is the kingdom and the power and glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. We give thanks unto thee, O King Invisible, who by thy immeasurable power did make all things, and in the greatness of thy mercy did bring all things from non existent to being. Look down from heaven, O Master, upon those who bow their heads unto thee, the awesome God, and do thou thyself, O Master, distribute these gifts here offered unto all of us for good according to the individual needs of each. Sail with those who sail, travel with those who travel by land and by air, and heal the sick, O thou who art a physician of our souls and bodies. Through the grace and compassion and love towards humankind of thy only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, Together with your holy good and life creating spirits, now and ever and into ages of ages. Amen. Attend, O Lord Jesus Christ, our Lord, place on the throne of glory, thy kingdom and come and sanctify us, O thou who sittest on high. Me a sinner and have mercy upon me. Bože, očisti me grešnog i pomili me. O God, cleanse me a sinner and have mercy upon me. Let us attend the whole. All things are for the holy. Pomi se i razdrobljavanje Bože koji smo grehi svetu, uvek se jedan nikad ne stane na osveću onih koji se počešću. Jesus Christos, 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 Často i presto telo Gospoda Boga i spasa našeg Isusa Hrista daje se meni da ustavim sveštenim kubrani slovu na odpuštenje grehova mojih i na život večni.
God and with faith and with love, draw near. I believe, O Lord, and I confess, Thou art truly a Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into this world to save sinners of whom I am first. I believe also that this is truly thy own most pure body, and that this is truly thy own precious blood. Therefore I pray thee, have mercy upon me, and forgive my transgressions, both voluntary and involuntary, of word and of deed, committed in knowledge or in ignorance and make me worthy to partake without condemnation of thy most pure mysteries, for the remission of my sins and unto life everlasting. Of thy mystical supper, O Son of God, accept me today as a communion. For I will not speak of thy mysteries to thy enemies, neither like Judas will I give thee a kiss, but like the thief will I confess thee. Remember me, O Lord, in thy kingdom. May the communion of thy holy mysteries be neither to my judgment nor to my condemnation, O Lord, but unto the healing of soul and of body. and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ for the remission of sins and life everlasting. Body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ for the remission of sins and life everlasting. Body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ for the remission of sins and life everlasting. Telo i krv Hristova za opuštenje grehova i za život večni. Body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ for the remission of sins and life everlasting. Body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ for the remission of sins and life everlasting. Body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ for the remission of sins and life everlasting. Body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ for the remission of sins and life everlasting. Body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ for the remission of sins and life everlasting. Skrsenje Hristova videvši, poklonimo se svetome Hristu, jedinom bezgrešnom. Krstom Tvome klanjamo se Hrista i svetova skrsenja Tvoje pevamo i slavimo. Jer si Ti Bog naš, svi Tebe drugoga nemamo. Ime Tvoje proslavljeno. Hodite si u verni, poklonimo se svetome skrsenje Tvoje. Jer gle, Hristom dođe radost celome svetu. Svakda blagosljedeći gospoda, pevajmo o skrsenje Njegovom. Jer nas radi predivši krst, smrću smrt razruši. 
Sjeti se, 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 sjeti Save thy people and bless thine inheritance. having partaken in the divine, holy, most pure, mortal, heavenly, life-creating, awesome mysteries of Christ, let us worthy give thanks unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. As the whole name may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us commend ourselves and each other our life unto Christ our God. Thee, o Lord. Thank thee, O Master, love us mankind, benefactor of souls, made us worthy this day, the heavenly mortal mysteries. Make straight our paths, strengthen us our fear, guide our life, make firm our steps. Through the prayers and intercession, glory to see a token, and ever virgin Mary of all thy saints. For that our saint occasionally ascribe glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever in two ages of ages. Amen. Let us depart in peace. In the name of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. O Lord, you bless those who bless thee and sanctify those who trust in thee. Save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Preserve the fullness of thy church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of thy house. Glorify them in return by thy divine power. And forsake us not who put our hope in thee. Give peace to thy world, to thy churches, to thy priests, to all those in civil authority, to all thy people. 
For every good gift and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from thee, the Father of all lights. And unto thee we ascribe glory, thanksgiving, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. the Lord be upon you through his grace and love for humankind, always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, O Christ our God, and our hope, glory to thee. Christos, istini ti Bog naš, molitvom prečiste svoje matere silom častnog i životvornog krsta, molitvom svetog, sveti slavni sveh malih apostola i molitvom svetoga proroka ili je zaštitika ovoj svetog hrama, molitvom svetih otaca, prvišća i slasenjekskih sabora i molitvom svetog arhistratika Gavrila, čiji spomen danas slavimo i svetih srpskih prosvetitelja i učitelja Simeona Mirotočivoga, svetitelja Save, Arsenija Maksima, Vasilija Ostroškog, Petra Cetinskog, svetog Prohora, Pčinskog, Stefana Dečanskog, svetog Ionikija Devičkog, svetog Kneza Lazara Kosovskog, svetih Nikolaja Žičkog, Justina Ćelijskog, svetog Amar Darija Libertivilskog, Sevastijana Džeksovskog i San Francisco i svetog Jovana Šangajskog i svetih prepodobnih bogotaca naši Joakime i Jane, i svih sveti da nas pomiluje i spase kao blagi čoveko ljubi. Amen. Through the prayers of our holy fathers and of all the saints, O Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. Blessing of the Lord be upon all of you. Please be seated. This year has certainly been different for all of us and it started rough and it still is rough, but as someone says that, that, that evil never goes alone, we are the witnesses of a tragic historic event that happened this week in Constantinople. And uh, as the government of the Republic of Turkey decided to turn the Hagia Sophia into the uh, mosque again, we have joined the rest of the Orthodox world in um, lamenting of this um, tragic event. So this Friday we've had a Nakate service, we served in our church and we certainly prayed along with thousands of other Christians throughout the world that um, God strengthens us to endure this hardship because we always know that there is the light at the end of the tunnel, but there is, um, there is no resurrection without death. So we are comforted by prayers and we're comforted by hope that the day will come when the um, Christians, Orthodox Christians will be able to worship in um, the most holy church of Constantinople as we know it, Hagia Sophia. Until then, we will remember one another in prayers, but we will certainly remember those Christians who are standing 
um, and witnessing their faith in Constantinople to this very day. There are not very many of them left, but they are persistent in their faith and they believe that again, there is no resurrection without suffering and death. So um, this year is different in every aspect of our life and it will be different next week as we celebrate our patron saint, Saint Elijah the prophet. Unfortunately, this year we will not be able to come together in a banquet and uh, share the meal of love, but fortunately and more importantly, God willing, we will be able to come together in prayer and in Eucharist. So next week, as we celebrate the patron saint, join us in prayer in church, virtually, online, and join us in the procession around the church in honoring the past, presence, and looking for the best in the future. There will be no banquet in the center, but we will have a virtual banquet. So all of you who are in attendance after the uh, procession, you will be able to follow it on your phones or devices, or when you go home, you will be able to play it on your TVs or smartphones or computers. As for you who are watching us online, Please join us in the liturgy, join us in the procession that will be live streamed. And right after the procession, we will go straight into the uh, virtual banquet for this year. So I look forward to seeing you next Sunday, both physically and virtually. And uh, may St. Elijah, the patron saint of our parish, pray for us, intercede for us, so that God keeps us and safeguards us from all the trouble and evil in this world. Blessing of the Lord be upon all of you, your families and friends. Amen.
Lama Sri Elijah too. Let's go and touch the Savior. God bless you. Hello. God bless you. Good to see you. How's cyber school treating you? Keeping you busy? Good. Morning. How are you? Hello. God bless you. Good to see you. Dobro jutro. God bless you. Kako ste? Dobro jutro. God bless you. You are the fastest responder of thank you cards ever. <laughs> well, I have more questions for you, so I'm going to... Okay. <laughs> extra, beat, extra. I beat someone um, the second half of their gift. So this is a thank you before the full gift. <laughs> God bless you. And um, next week we'll have something for everyone. God bless you, Peter. Good to see you. Dobro jutro, Maria. Kako ste? God bless you. Dobro jutro, Simo. How are you? Dobro. Dobro jutro. God bless you. Blessed feast. You want to take some home? <laughs> okay. Say hello to everyone. Dobro jutro. God bless you. Would you take your mask off so I know who you are? I thought you were Mitzi. God bless you. Welcome. Wonderful to see you. Okay. You have more than one reason to come here. Wonderful to see you. Uh, well, does he know you're here? Wait for him. He'll be happy to see you. Thank you for wonderful uh, responses. Thank you, thank you. God bless you. Good job. I had some doubts, but it's okay. Dobro jutro. God bless you. So, tomorrow, six ish. You know what? Come at five. We'll write the whole thing, and at six we can get rolling. And Juliana, whatever he, she is. That's fine. All right. Come five, we'll write script, and then six, we'll start. Primera, I can't. 